history abounds with tales of hugely tall men and women, but it's only in the past couple of hundred years that we've had medical explanations for the phenomenon. Pituitary gigantism, Marfan syndrome, unichoid tallness, Soto's syndrome, and acromegaly are all conditions that can cause those afflicted to grow beyond the human norm. Pituitary gigantism is by far the most common cause of extreme height. It usually occurs due to oversecretion of growth hormone from cells in the pituitary gland or as a result of a tumor on this same gland at the base of the brain. Many of the world's largest individuals from the tallest person ever, Robert Wardlow, to the world's current tallest living man, Sultan Kosen have suffered from conditions related to their pituitary glands. Yet the stories of the individuals affected by gigantism are as interesting as the causes behind their conditions. This video is about eight tallest recorded people in history. Number 8. Sultan Kosan. At 8 feet 3 inches, Turkish part-time farm laborer Sultan Kosan is the tallest living man in the world. Like many of the other people on this list, Kosan's condition is caused by a tumor affecting his pituitary gland that has been linked to a chromegaly. And as with Kola, Kosan's growth rate was normal until the age of 10, at which point he quickly shot up to over 6 feet. The colossal Turk was unable to complete his education due to his staggering height and need to walk with crutches. An attempt to remove Kosan's tumor in 2008 was thought to have been successful, but in the end it failed to arrest his accelerated growth rate. In 2010, because the tumor was buried so deep in Kosan's brain, doctors at the University of Virginia used a gamma knife technique, focusing beams of radiation to remove the growth. Due to Kosan's size, special equipment had to be flown in from Sweden. In 2012, it was confirmed that the supersized celebrity had finally stopped growing. Number 7. Born in Saskatchewan, Canada in 1881, Edouard Prou also reached the incredible height of 8 feet 3 inches. As a child, Bray had dreams of being a cowboy, but he may have changed his mind when he turned 17 and discovered that he could lift an 800-pound horse. When he was 21, Bray joined Barnum and Bailey's circus as a strongman and circus freak. The French-Canadian giant's feats included lifting heavy horses and wrestling one of the world's strongest men, Louis Cyr. During the wrestling match, he hardly dared to lay a finger on his opponent, leading to Cyr's victory. Sometimes Pra suffered for his art, and he once broke his leg lifting a 900-pound weight. Towards the end of his life, Pra suffered from tuberculosis and felt weak and dizzy after his feats of strength. At around 1 a.m. on July 3, 1904, feeling tired, he drank a cup of tea and began coughing up blood. He was rushed to hospital but died the same night. Doctors who examined Pra post-mortem found that he was suffering from a pituitary gland tumor. They also discovered that he hadn't stopped growing until his premature death at the age of 23. Number 6. Vnomila Rin. He was born in 1909 in Helsinki, Finland. Miley Rin was 7 feet 3.4 in tall by the time he was 21. What's more, he hit a second growth spurt in his late 30s, and by the time of his death in 1963, he was a towering 8 feet 3. Miley Rin served with the Finnish Defense Forces and is considered the tallest soldier who ever lived. He was also voted the 12th greatest Finn by local TV show Suurit Suomalaiset mostly due to a sarcastic tongue-in-cheek internet campaign. The Finnish colossus suffered from a chromegaly, which frequently leads to gigantism and abnormal growth. Mylerin was confirmed as the tallest living man in the world from 1940 until his death at the age of 54. His hands were also an incredible 15.7 inches wide, 
which is the largest recorded hand span in history. Number 5. Trijant Giva. She is alleged to be the tallest female person in recorded history, 8 feet and 4 inches tall at the time of her death at age 17. However, her height is disputed or unconfirmed. Trigent was born on April 10 or 16, 1616 in Needham, Netherland. Kiva died of cancer at the age of 17 in Terveen. She was buried on 7 July 1633 in Needham, her town of birth. It had been said that she probably suffered from a chromegaly. If her height was correct, she would be the tallest female ever. Number 4. Leonid Stepanovich Stadnik was a Ukrainian man who claimed to have stood at 8 feet 5 inches tall. He was born on 5 August 1969. Stadnik's excessive growth began after brain surgery at the age of 13, after which he developed a pituitary gland tumor that caused the gland to secrete large amounts of growth hormone. This resulted in what doctors describe as a chromegalic gigantism. Twenty years after the surgery, the doctors discovered the tumor had mysteriously disappeared and he was currently healthy. He reportedly wore U.S. size 24.5 shoes. Although he held the title for a month, Stadnik, having no interest in being in any record book, refused to be measured, ending his GWR recognition. Number 3. John F. Carroll. He was born in 1932 in Buffalo, New York. John Carroll was referred to as the Buffalo Giant in medical journals. When he was 16, Carroll's incredible growth spurt kicked in, and it didn't stop until his eventual death in 1969. At one point, he reportedly grew seven inches in a matter of months. Carol was afflicted with a chromegalic gigantism and suffered a lot during his short life, especially when it came to his spine. He had a bad case of two-dimensional spinal curvature, also known as kyphoscoliosis. In fact, Carol's spinal curvature was so severe that it even made measuring him accurately extremely difficult. In 1968, just before his death, Carol measured in at 7 feet 8.75 inches. However, by this stage, his spinal curvature was so extreme that it's thought his corrected height could have been just below 9 feet. Number 2. John Rogan. At 8 feet 9 in, Rogan is the second tallest human being in recorded history and the tallest of African descent. Born in Tennessee in 1868, Rogan suffered a sudden growth spurt at the age of 13 and gained height rapidly. Rogan's extreme size led to him suffering from severe ankylosis, a condition that leaves the joints stiff due to inflammation. This made it extremely difficult for him to put his weight on his feet. Initially, he could walk around with the aid of crutches, but by 1882 Rogan couldn't stand or walk at all. Always the center of attention, he was often pulled around in a goat cart that he designed himself. Rogan found it hard to work due to his condition but made a living selling pictures and postcards of himself at the local train station. He died in 1905 from complications due to his disease and was buried under a layer of concrete to stop curious scientists from digging up his body. The African-American giant was not measured officially until his death, and although he was just less than 9 feet tall, he weighed in at only 175 pounds. Number 1. Robert Wadlow. Having reached a height of 8 feet 11 in, 
Wadlow is the tallest confirmed person to have ever lived. Born in Alton, Illinois in 1918, he suffered from hypertrophy of the pituitary gland, causing him to produce massive amounts of human growth hormone. This condition led to Wadlow's height constantly increasing throughout his life. By the time he was eight, he was already six feet two in and weighed 169 pounds, 77 kilograms. The Illinois resident was so large that a special desk had to be built for him in school. Doctors at the time had no treatment for this kind of hormonal imbalance. Wadlow suffered from a number of ailments due to his unusual condition. He had trouble moving around his college campus because of his brittle bones and needed to wear leg braces towards the end of his life. He also had minimal sensation in his feet. In the end, during a professional appearance Wadler made in Manistee, Michigan, a faulty leg brace gave him a blister that went on to become infected. Emergency surgery and blood transfusions failed to save him, and he passed away in his sleep on July 15, 1940. He was only 22 years old. Over 30,000 people attended Wadlow's funeral and 12 pallbearers were needed to carry his massive body. Thank you.